Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. And today we're going to take a look at Liability, the Crazy 8 Racer number 77 from Cars 3. Now before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, Liability is a Crazy 8 racer who bears the number 77 at Thunder Hollow Speedway. Her model and origins are currently unknown. During his, her diecast releases, she was released the first time with rubber tires in 2017 and got re-released as a single twice in 2019 and th and for this year, which I got her over there, along along with Holiday Hotshot Lightning McQueen, which I'm not sure if I should open it in December. Let me know what you think. And in the mail, you know, last week I've got. The Easter Buggy, which I'm wondering if I should open it up on the official day of April, which is the 17th. Let me know what you think. So, without any further ado, let's start unboxing. Well, before that, here we've got her artwork and the old Cars logo and the the red background and the her name liability, the metal logo and the Mattel logo. And on the back, we've got the Mattel logo, the RSN network, made in Thailand, 2021 Mattel, the Cars 3 logo, the metal logo, and on the back we've got Rusty's Cruiser Mirrors, Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen, Liability herself. APB and Kurt with the bug teeth. Okay, so during okay, so during her appearance in Cars Three, she was one of the racers that attended the Crazy Eight Demolition Derby at Thunder Hollow Speedway in February of 2017, when Lightning McQueen and Cruiser Ramirez went incognito as Chester Whipple Filter and Friends as Beltline. And and during and during the demolition derby race, she got hit by tailgate number eighty eight, who I unfortunately don't have. And, and I and she was one of the crazy eight racers. To she along with the cruiser, other crazy eight racers to. Watch the Florida 500, although I'm not 100% sure if she was seen watching the Florida 500. Let me know what you think. So, anyhow, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got her... Grumpy... Facial expression, her headlights and grill, and her front end tilted l left, and her green and purple paint job, and her exhaust pipes exposed on to out of her hood. And on the top, we've got the purple rocket, purple heat-seeking rocket. And on the left side, we've got the 
green and pink rims on her pink wall tires and the white markings which I'm not sure what those are on her green paintwork and a white number 77 on her purple paint job and a, a heat seeking rocket on her windows and on the top we've got the number 77 and on the left side it says seek and destroy which is shown on left the left side the back side and on the right side and another heat seeking rocket and on the underneath it says G K it says G K B48 made in Thailand Disney and Pixar P41A and that is it now let's pull up some of the other crazy eight racers we've got Cruiser Mir Francis Beltline alias Cruiser Ramirez Chester Whipplefilter aka Lightning McQueen Dr. Damage Fishtail, T-Bone, APB, and Bill. Although, although this morning while I was on my computer, I saw a poster for the 2022 Disney Cars series. I'll leave that in the description and in the pop-up if you guys want to see it. Although, while I was at Walmart and Meyer, all they had was singles, no two-packs or deluxes. I just hope Target has any but what do you guys think? Which Crazy 8 racer is your favorite? And which single should I review next? A Holiday Hotshot Lightning McQueen, which I'm still not sure if I should open it up in December. Or the Easter Buggy, which I'm still not sure if I should open up on Sunday the 17th, which is Easter. Leave your thoughts as well as suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, consider the support by checking out my other videos on my channel. And feel, feel free to make su suggestions in the comments. I would really appreciate it very much. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!